my name is William Monroe. I'm a farmer in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, it's a hill farm we have. We have a very diverse farm. We have the fields in the bottom where we grow the crops and we have the high hill where our sheep are in the summertime. We grow some barley, spring barley, so we're self-sufficient. We have black-faced sheep which are good for our area and we have suckler cows. Here at Pitmain we have received funding for the Rural Development Programme and we've used these funds in many ways. We have fenced off water courses, we have segregated fields like this one and we've had fun funding for the fencing and because of that we've been able to keep the stock off these fields for maybe six weeks to let birds and different species create a habitat. Uh, we've had funding for mown grassland for waders and we, we farm these fields in an environmental friendly way so that the birds when we cut or when we cut the fields the birds can go to the edges and we don't create any dangers for them. In addition to that we have created some beetle banks around the edge of fields. We leave a strip of two to three meters unplowed. We do the beetle banks because it's important for these insects because they're so part of the, the food chain and for the, the ecosystem of each of these fields. We also have gone into um, a way wintering of sheep so we've taken some of the sheep off these lower hills and we've put them away so these areas have had a chance to regenerate naturally and there's no chance of poaching through the winter, the sheep's feet making holes and going over nests that are already there and we've had funding for these things as well which has been very helpful. We got advice, specialised advice from our Scottish Agricultural College and also from individuals who are uh, experts on these subjects and the advice was how to create these habitats. For instance there's a wader scrape just in the distance there and we have created a pond where waders are happy in the environment there and that's created this lovely environment in these parts of the farm and the funding has helped greatly to be able to do that and the advice that we got was great. We believe we've created here a lovely environment, a good habitat for birds to nest and rear their young because there's never thing to spoil it. Well the funding is very important because if we didn't have the funding, for example, fields like this, we would put sheep in them all year round because grass is a rare commodity here in spring. We, we are short of grass because of the climate and so if we didn't have the funding we certainly wouldn't keep the sheep off of that and then there's, because of that, there's a real benefit to the environment and to the local community in that these places have become a good habitat for some of the species that we're trying to increase in our area. Because of what we've done with some of the prescriptions and the funding we've, we've been receiving, there, it helps the local community because this being in the National Park, there are many bird watchers who come and they, they see the environment we've created in the habitat and they would stay locally and come and enjoy this and then spend money in the shops and in our own rural economy. So we believe there's a good benefit there as well. The money we've received from the Rural Development Programme has been used on the environmental things, but it's also helped us increase our business. The funding we've received we've invested back into the farm and we've used it for instance to buy quality stock we believe to increase our business and to remain competitive. As a result we believe the farm has become more effective in producing food and also looking after the countryside.